Hello everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in to my channel today. Yeah, in today's video, I will be making a porridge. So I will take you guys along as I make my yam porridge. Okay? So if today is your first time of coming across my channel, please do show me love by subscribing to my channel. You will not regret of subscribing, okay? Please join the family. And to my old subscribers, I want to say thank you to every one of you. You guys keep me moving. I want to say thank you so much for the love you people have been showing me. Oh my God, I don't know what I would have done without your, without, your, without your support. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. And for all the comments you guys have been dropping, and for all the comments, the like, oh my God, this is too much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. So without wasting much of the time, let's get cooking. These are the things I will be using to make the yam porridge. Okay, you can see that's the yam there. If you can see it, yeah, that's the yam there. That's the red bell pepper, onion, scotch bonnet, and the chili pepper. Yeah. So there is a cow skin. I've already boiled it, yeah. I boiled it with salt, so it's already I've already cooked it, yeah. Then here is um, my dry fish. This is a dry pan lard fish, yeah. There's the maggi, crayfish, seasoning, salt, oil. So the oil is I mix this oil, mix it with vegetable oil, okay? So yeah. So there is just one cup of oil, half cup of vegetable oil, half cup of red oil there. So that's the yam there. Two red bell pepper. That's one full yam. Yeah. Two red bell pepper. Two onion. Um there is four chili and the two scotch bonnets. Yeah, there is the cow skin and then the dry banla fish. Yeah. So that these the things that I'll be needing to make the yam porridge. Okay, guys. So let's get cooking. So guys, you can see you put the yam in the pot. Yeah. Next, you add your pepper. I'll be using the rest of the rest of this pepper. I'll be using the rest. Whenever I'm making porridge yam, so I like to make some extra sauce for it, okay? Yeah, so add the seasoning. You add the seasoning. Yeah. Add the crayfish. So you can see what I'm doing. You add the crayfish. I'll add this one later. You add the salt. A bit of salt. So I'll be using the rest later. So I like to add the oil. I add the oil so that it will cook properly, you know. So I want all the ingredients, everything to cook, all everything to go inside the yam, like yeah. So that's why I'm cooking it this way. So you can choose to. You, uh, like I have two, three ways of cooking my porridge, right? Sometimes I fry the sauce, then after frying the sauce, I add the yam, right? Sometimes I do it this way, so I just have two different, three different ways of cooking yam porridge. But in this uh, recipe, I will be using this method, okay? Then you add your water. Make sure you don't add too much water. Add enough water that will be that will be enough to cook the yam, okay? So that you don't keep adding, adding, adding water. Just add enough that will be okay to cook the yam. After adding everything, so you just give it a little bit. Uh, you give it a little bit stir. Give it a little bit stir, okay? 
Yeah. So you leave it to cook for 25 to 30 minutes. So guys, it's time to fry the sauce for the yam. Yeah. So I'll be using this oil to fry the sauce for the yam, okay? To so allow the oil to heat up a little bit. Like I said before, I have um, the red oil, that is the palm oil and um, the vegetable oil. So I mix both together. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm using to fry this uh, small sauce. Whenever I make yam porridge, I like having uh, this extra small sauce that can, you know, put by the side of the yam when eating it. So I just love it that way, I don't know. You can choose not to make the sauce, just make the yam porridge, just like that, you know. It's fine, so it will still be okay, right? I'll add the onion. Add the onion. make this sauce without um, palm oil just use only vegetable oil yeah it will still come out nice but me I'm used to making it like this sometimes I make it without like I make sometimes I make it with just only vegetable oil yeah so doesn't really matter it's just that I wish to mix it with the palm oil so I just add one cube of maggi for the onion to have that, you know, that sweet taste when you're eating it. So I'll add the crayfish. Then I'll add the I'll add the mixed pepper. It's already looking yummy, 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 yummy. Then you add the seasoning. You add the salt. You mix, stir. I will be adding this my dry fish because I want the sauce to penetrate inside the fish. I want the sauce to, to penetrate inside, inside the fish proper and I want the dry fish to be soft because it's not soft to the way I like it so I, that's why I add it so I've already washed the fish with um, hot water and salt I've open clean but I soak it, but um, I found out that it's still hard. It's, uh, the fish is still hard, so that's why I decided to put the fish inside so that it can get soft. So I dip in the fish; it's soft, like it's not too hard. I will wait for the sauce to fry, to fry a little bit before I add the fish. But because the fish is too hard. It's a little bit hard, so that's why I have to add the fish now. That's why I'm cooking it with the sauce to get soft, okay? So cook it for 10 minutes, but make sure you're stirring it, okay? So guys, this is after 10 minutes of frying the sauce. So I'll be adding the cow skin now. So this is cow food, yeah. I just debone it here. Yeah, this is cow food. Prefer the brown for mumbles, but since it's not available now that I want to make this porridge, yam, and sauce, so I have to make this of what I have. Best leave it to cook for five minutes, okay? So, guys, you see? You see what it looks like? Yeah. 
because after 30 minutes 30 minutes of cooking the yam see this is how you can tell it's soft can you see that you can see it's proper soft like see so the yam is really really soft this is the way i like my porridge yam to look like this is the way i like it you see See how it's looking lovely. Oh my god, I love this moisture. You can see. Yeah, this is the way we love it. This is the way my family love it. This is the way we love our porridge yam. You see that? So, how many of you like your porridge yam like that? Yeah. So, guys, you see, the porridge yam is ready to eat. Yeah, so, fish off the gas. So, guys, you can see, this is after five minutes. Yeah. So, after five minutes now, of cooking it now. Sauce is ready to eat the porridge. You need to give it a try. This is really, really nice. Just give it a try, okay? You see how it's looking. So, guys, if you like, if you enjoy watching this video, please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, and give it a try, okay? Yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.